Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to talk about Alora made for QN Image Edit 2509, which helps you generate shots of the same scene from multiple angles. The Lora is simply called Multiple Angles. Let's see how we can use this Lora. The download link is available in the description. Once you open the link, you'll see a page like this. Although the Lora doesn't have any trigger words, you still have to use Chinese words for different camera shots to get better results. If we scroll down, we can find some Chinese words and their meaning in English. You can use this sample to generate more words related to different camera shots. Use ChatGPT or Gemini for that. I also made a workflow that includes more camera shots. We'll focus on that workflow later. Right now, let's see how we can download this Laura. First, scroll up, then click on Files and Versions. Here, we can find a Safatensers file that has Chinese words in it. This is the Laura we are talking about. Use the download button to download it and put the Laura inside the Laura's folder of Comfy UI. I also recommend renaming the Laura so you can easily find it in Comfy UI's Laura loader. Now, let's switch to Comfy UI. Here is the workflow I made for using the Laura. In this workflow, I have added the multiple angles Laura between the Lightning Laura and Model Sampling Aura Flow. I am using the 8-step lightning Laura here. As I said before, I have included Chinese words for different camera shots. I had more shots than these, but after running some tests, some failed, so I removed them. However, you can copy these and ask ChatGPT or Gemini to create more. Even so, don't expect every shot to work. Some may produce similar-looking results. Now, let's start generating an image. First, we're going to move the camera to the left. This Chinese keyword is for moving the camera to the left, so let's copy it and paste it inside the positive prompt. Next, let's choose another image. Let's go to the Pictures folder. Let's choose this photo of a dog sitting on a sofa, then click Open. Now, let's run the workflow and wait for the results. The generation is completed. Now let's take a look at the generated image. Here you can see the result. Let's compare it with the original, and you can see that the camera has moved to the left. Well, I don't see any problem. The result looks good to me. Now let's try another shot. This time we are going to move the camera to the right. So let's copy the keyword for moving the camera to the right and paste it inside the positive prompt. Now let's run the workflow and wait for the result. As always, the generation is complete. Now let's take a look at it. As you can see here, the camera moved to the right. If we compare it with the original image, this result also looks good to me. Now let's try another shot. This time we are going to zoom into the image. So, let's copy the keyword for zooming and paste it inside the positive prompt. Then let's run the workflow and wait for the result. The generation is complete. Let's take a look at the result. As you can see here, the camera is zoomed. If we compare it with the original, we can see the difference. Now let's try another shot with another image. So, let's choose a different image. I'm going to choose this photo of a fox. Now, let's try rotating the camera around the fox by about 45 degrees to the left. So, let's copy the keyword for rotating the camera to 45 degrees left and paste it inside the positive prompt. Then, let's run the workflow and see the result. The process is finished. Let's take a look at the image. If we compare it with the original, we can see the difference. Now, let's try rotating the camera about 90 degrees to the right. Let's copy the keyword for rotating the camera 90 degrees to the right and paste it inside the positive prompt. Then let's run the workflow and see the result. The process is finished. Let's take a look at it. Just like before, when we compare it with the original, the result is really good. Now let's try another image with a different camera shot. Let's choose this photo. This time we are going to generate a top-down view of this scene. So, let's find and copy the keyword for the top-down view and paste it inside the positive prompt. Then let's run the workflow and wait for the result. The new image is ready. Let's take a look at it. Well, I love the result. However, I think the floor isn't matching up with the original image and the leaves of the tree don't look the same either. Her eyes are also slightly open. There is a different chain, her head position has changed, and a ring is missing from her index finger on her right hand. Now let's try a low angle shot. So. Let's copy the Chinese keyword for the low angle shot and paste it inside the positive prompt. Then let's run the workflow and wait for the result. The generation is completed. Let's take a look at the generated image. Overall, I think the low angle shot looks good. What's your take on this image? 
please let me know in the comment section below. Well, we could take this output and generate more shots from it, but I think that might be a bad idea. Over time, there will be some consistency issues. So, I think it is better to use the original image for creating various shots. I will not say the Laura is 100% perfect, but I think it is a must-have Laura. So guys, try the Laura by yourselves and let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.